Holy shit, it's late. But I do appreciate it, folks, for those of you who decide to watch this at any time of the day, or those who are about to join the room, even if it's just for a couple of seconds. I feel incomplete when I don't stick to the schedule, but whether it be personal issues or anything else, I always try to oblige those, the loyal and faithful, to WFWF. Welcome to Smackwood Live. Exactly, Daniel. <laughs> I did not get to see 205 Live yet. I'll watch it after I'm done here. And, um... I feel that will be my luxury. I just got in from rehearsal. Ah, okay. Hi, hi Nate. How are you? Alright, folks. We're going to go ahead and start things off here. With a, a bit of a grudge match here. I didn't understand it at first when Big uh, Brockman... Showed up during a Kalisto match of uh, when he won the Cruiserweight, Cruiser for a Bruiserweight Championship, and then was shown walking around with the belt. As it turns out, he sidestruck Kalisto taking the belt and walking around with it due to his authority, his abusive authority. So now Kalisto has requested, uh, due to uh, the returning of his belt, and the threat of firing the Squared Circle Police Department if it was not returned. Kalisto, the great Kalisto, has decided to throw down the challenge to Brock, Big Brock Man, and so they're going to start things off here tonight, folks. The Big Brock Man coming off a two-loss, well, I guess, streak. I'm okay, Nate. Could Could be better, but I'm glad I'm not worse. Hey, MSK. Sorry I couldn't join you guys for 205 Live. Had a pretty decent rehearsal, though. Would you guys recommend it? 205 Live, was it a good debut episode? And as we wait for this match to load up here, we got a pretty good stack show here tonight. Um, if you miss RAR, uh, definitely a heck of a show stacked up there. Uh, we had an Exotico... Title defense. We saw the other half of the Dudleyville militia. Hello, Bone. Oh, good, good. Glad it was a glad, glad it was a good episode. Can't wait to check it out once we're done here. Just skip the Bollywood boys, okay? Oh, no problem, MSK. Appreciate it that you stopped by, but if you gotta go to bed, go to bed. I understand it's very late. We are live in Milan, Italy. The mainstay. For Smackwood. Let me turn this down. There I go. And there he is. Don't know why the fuck this stupid game continuously puts the belt on him, but I think he stole it. Look at all those dead bodies. Ah, no, none of them, eh, Nate? That sounds fantastic. I'm really going to enjoy it. Still no pyro. All right. Really don't know why the game is doing this. Let's just say it's 2K. I do like that belt, though. It's a different. Well, Pete Dunn would have been a good. Uh, one as well. Both him and Gallagher definitely become my recent favorites. And here comes the real cruiser for a bruiserweight champion. Ooh. 
glad. I've only seen Pete on uh, Pete Dunn on What Culture. I've been very impressed with him. From what I understand, he's a champion there now, isn't he? At uh, Progress. No, I didn't get to see last week. I was really bummed out by that. I'm hoping to catch the Delete event because that's a pretty stacked card. Here we go, folks. The big Brock band take it on the great Kalisto. Brave the great Kalisto, but he's never wanted to back down from a fight. The sound of the bell now is referee Stanley Tucci. Starts the match there. Amateur style takedown as Kalisto shot in, but Lesnar caught him. Jaw jack there onto the big Brock man. Double knees to the chest. Nicely done by the great Kalisto. He now picks up the big Brock man who shoots up with a European uppercut. And now picking up the great Kalisto, throwing him across the ring. Stomping away now at the wrist, trying to break it through and easily picking up the great Kalisto for a deadlift. Gut wrench into that corner. I really would like to work for What Culture, but I really don't think they'll hire me. The assignment was not really... I, I didn't feel comfortable about it. Which most would say is probably not a good sign. Much like that neckbreaker there onto the big Brock man. Kalisto now going up to the second rope. Misses the Phoenix Flash, going a little too high, a little too early. Well, yeah, they're promoters, so they're definitely going to book it around themselves. Knee to the head, and another one. Kalisto now working the legs. Frankensteiner beautifully executed. On to the big Brock man. Sweeping the leg out from underneath. Ooh, misses that kick to the head. Knee to the back. Shoots in. No, kick to the leg. Back elbow now. Pushing off the big Brock man. Arm drag takedown. Nicely done. Shoots in. Kalisto now trapping him in the headlock. The front face lock, actually. And thrown over the top onto the marble floor. This Italian padding is definitely made of pure blue marble. And reverse suplex on the outside. That's definitely going to hurt. I don't know what hurts more, carpet or marble. Probably marble. It's an orange right there. Fans chanting for Cell Block City. It's a kick to the leg. Such strength there on the great Kalisto. He is small in stature, but mind you folks, there is a giant underneath that flesh. Suplex there onto Brock. Stomping away now at the chest as the great Kalisto picks him up. Snaps forward. Springboard. There's the Phoenix Flash. Beautifully done. Now slamming the arm there of the big Brock man, trying to at least wing him. Being unable to put all the impact on that cell block F5. Now driving the elbows into his head, now putting the head scissors on as Brock turns him over. Escapes. Into the corner. Now some drop kick to the face, almost an Inzaguri. And a back body drop over the top to the outside. I don't know if you heard the thud there, folks, but that was pretty darn nasty. And now Lesnar just laying in those potatoes. Snap suplex. Popping back up. Thrown on the inside, turned around, club to the throat. And a boot to the head by the big Brock man. Stanley Tucci administering the 10 count. It's Kalisto now fighting back with an elbow to the groin. Tries to go with the Inziguri, but sidestepped by Brock, who shoots in. Amateur slam once more. Oh, the am slam. And now picking him in. Oh, no. Slams him down with that German suplex. And another one. 
And a third! That's a cell block city right there, folks. European uppercut nicely done. Shoots in. Pumps in, rolls through with the head scissors, and now spit it up a right round, baby! With the head scissors, a hurricane rana right into the corner. Rolls through with that schoolboy tail whip! Yeah, I mean, if I could find some progress matches, if you guys want to go ahead and link me to them, that's fine. If not, I'll go ahead and find them a fail. But I have no problem with progress. Pure wrestling. Can't get mad at that. And now propping himself up. Yoshi Tonic. Nicely done. And now Kalisto. Great Kalisto now looking for that snake in a basket. Flips through. No, Lesnar catches him. Power slam into the corner. Clubs through on the back. And now, gripping him in. Inverted suplex. And Sheamus. Looking for a fight. Let's do it in the back. Fireman's carry takeover. It's a club to the back again. Back elbow. And now Lesnar picking up Kalisto. Shoots in. German suplex. Nicely done. And Kalisto now picks him up. What the shit? Holding on to the neck of the big Brock man. Look at his feet. Oh! The curve of the Cobra. One. Two. No, Lesnar escapes. And now Lesnar escaping the grasp. Picking up. Kalisto down with the power bomb. Whoa. And a second one. Picking him up for a third. And now Lesnar measuring up the great Kalisto. Picks him up. No, Kalisto escapes the grass. Pulls down with a neck breaker. Lesnar now shoots in. He's got him. Cell block. That's five. Dead center. One, two. No, wait a minute. Fella just pulled him out. Stanley Tucci just got pulled out by Sheamus. Deep arm drag there by Kalisto. Shoots in, snap suplex. And Kalisto now runs up. Big fucking splash! <laughs> Stopping away now at the sternum of Big Brockman. Chanting for the Lucha. Shoots in, snake in a basket! One! Two! No! And now Kalisto doing some karate shit. On the ropes. And the buddy! Rolls over the big Brock man. Puts him with that second rope. Telling him to get up. Oh, double Pele kick to the back of the head of the big Brock man. Hooks the leg with a cover. One, two, no. The kick to the back there by Kalisto staying on top of him. Off the ropes. Big fucking splash! <laughs> Off the ropes again. What the fuck's he doing? Okay. Getting the momentum up, I suppose. Short arm shoulder tackle there by Big Brockman. Who just slams the head down. One. Two. No. How intimidating yet fitting is it to see Brock in this outfit, though? I gotta tell you. 
Telling Sheamus to get the fuck out of here. Kalisto fights back. He's sticking his tongue out. Looks like it's the back of his mask. Ooh, it's swatted away by Big Brockman. Who now? Oh, shit. Picks him up. Powerbomb in the corner. And a second one. Shoots in. Third. All in the corner. He could be concussed. It's a goodie. Rolls him through. Hooks the leg. One. Two. No. Snapmare takeover. No misses the drop kick. Swings it through. Tango neck breaker. And now the great Kalisto getting the crowd behind him. Kick to the dick. No. Blocked by Brock. A block Brock. And uh, oh shit. Cell block. F5 into the corner. Hooks the leg. One, two, three. Lesnar wins. And now Sheamus. That was a pretty damn good opener if you ask me. Look at that. Power slam. Reverse of the first attempt. There's that cell lock at five into the corner. Hardest part of the ring, baby. And there's Brock, man. End of the back. Oh, shit. What's he looking at? As we go to the backstage area, folks, we're trying to get a camera back there. All we can pick up is the audio. <laughs> you see, that's what happens. Boy, when you mess with the squared circle PD, you better get your stinking ass out of my face, honky. What'd you say to me, boy? Who you call him boy? Oh, shit, folks. According to this audio, it sounds like the leader of the Squared Circle PD, the big lieutenant boss man, is talking complete shit to K. Malik Shabazz Austin. And, folks, I think they about to throw down. We could get a camera back there. As soon as possible. This Lieutenant Boss Man of the Squared Circle PD and the African Rattlesnake K. Malik Shabazz Austin. Don't you walk away from me, boy. I'm not finished talking to you. Oh, really? Fuck you. <laughs> and now throwing down. Coming to blows. Austin now picking up boss man. Snap suplex. He's down there throwing that rack. And now kicking the knee. Ooh, throws him on that center divider. That cable. And now trying to tweak the neck there of Cable Eek Shabazz Austin. Back elbow there. And now lifting up Boss Man. Oh shit. Drives him head first. Locks in back elbow now. 
and throws Austin. Almost hitting his head on that column. Face first into the wall. Lifting knee. But Cable Leak throws him into the trash. Holy shit. Cable Leak now lifting knee, shocking the boss man. Bossman locks it back elbow to the face of Cable Leak Shabazz and throws him across the room. You know, still working that neck. I'm surprised he still's got his shades on. <laughs> I figured, folks, this would be the day as Bossman dropping the taint. Oh, also slamming Austin's face. And that cable cover. Back out to the Nards. They took out the TV, and now keep your eye on Austin. Power bomb through the table. Put a boss man through that table. A boss man now fighting back. DDT spiking Austin. We knew this was going to come to tenfold here, folks. Cable League fighting with boss man. Brock man fighting with fucking. Kalisto, what's next? Big Boss Murph and the Big Blake Man. DDT! Popped up Austin. Austin caught him. What's next? Blake and Murphy there fighting with what? Randy and fucking Jake Roberts. The other members of the Snake Shin. What's the shot? Back elbow. Bossman now thrown. Oh, into the door frame. Shoulder first. This came a leak now. Throws him again, this time outside. Back into the hallway. He lifts him up. The Boston blocks the shot with a back elbow smash. Austin now fights off. It's anybody's fight here, folks. Into the crate. Slamming the head of the boss man. Face crusher. Nice elevation there by Austin. And Kamali Shabazz now going up to the top. Oh, this is the elbow drop. He landed on those knees. Bossman now missing his opportunity. <laughs> he wasn't, Daniel. We had Santino. We had like a couple other people in there as well. Shoot, elbow. Whoa, headbutt actually. And now face first into the door. Pops through. Short arm shoulder tackle there by Cable Leak Shabazz Austin. That's a shot now with the back elbow. And thrown into the door. Props him up. Slams him down. Stomping a hole in his ass. Oh, into the door frame. Cable Leak now trying to fight back, but Bossman now seems to have the upper hand. Bubba slam on the concrete. I think he slammed Austin's head into that laundry. Shitty spine buster. Called a fat slam. Blocks that underhand as Cable Leak now fighting back. Drop the jaw. Lifting knee. And now throwing Austin into the garbage. And there goes Bossman now. Telling Kamalik to get up. Potatoes him in the back of the head. Knocks him into the concrete tile. And now Austin fighting that kick. Kamalik stutter. Cabling stutter! Come on, you dumb son of a bitch! You honky bastard! Kick to the dick! No! Shoots off! Kicks off that cable leak stutter! Picks him up! Oh shit! Cable leak now with a forearm to the back of the head! Throws Bossman into the wall! One more again! Into the corner! Kick! 
Cable Stunner! That's what you get. And K. Malik Shabazz Austin comes out on top. But folks, if I know the squared circle PD, this is far from over. All right, folks, now we're going to go ahead, move on to a debut. of what was supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one match. But of course those thugs, or those she-thugs, those shugs, is that what we should call them? I don't, I don't really know, folks. As Lita was set to take on <laughs> Dana Ambrooks, But Sash Rollins and Tomonko. I'm not even gonna go for the the name on that one. <laughs> Whereas Lita is being thrown to the she wolves, basically. The Rock's cousin. Why don't we just call her that? And I feel sorry for the legendary female worker known as Lita having to take on Sash Rollins, Dana Ambrooks, and The Rock's cousin. <laughs> It's amazing how this takes forever when they base have just such basic gear. Two K. Well, if you think about it, her dad is um, Jimmy Snuka, who is related. So. <laughs> Bang. Go suck some cock, man! 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 Here's the debut of Lida. I see we lost some viewers. <laughs> and that music, it's only one thing. Here comes Tamonko. Ann Brooks and Sash Rollins.
And the Shield. Poor Lita set to take on. Will's going to start things off here with Ambrooks. Shoots in now, grabs a hold of the head. Running Bulldog. It's a very sensitive area. I guess Ambrooks playing this match. European uppercut. Crucifix it in the corner there by Lita. Nicely done. Cross of the neck there, but Ambrooks escapes. Lunatic bitch. Fireman carry takeover. Or fire persons. Firewoman's. Let's go for a scoop slam, but Lita reverses into a front face slam. Who's the face buster? It's her up in them guts. DDT spiking the head of Lita. Tag in now to Sash Rollins. Snap suplex. Stomp it away now. Slamming the head of Lita. Into the mat. Sash Rollins now going up to the second rope. Big splash. Oof, that just looked like it hurt. No real grace, just all weight. Now grabs the arm and the leg of Lita. Getting her away from those ropes as she hooks her in. With a bow and arrow, nicely done. As you can see, referee Stanley Tucci, very smart. Not counting it as a pinfall like a lot of dumbass referees. And now off the ropes goes Lita. Ducks that clothesline. Goes in for Sash Rollins. Lifts her up with an electric chair. Face Buster. And now, ooh, nice kip up there. Inzaguri there by Sash Rollins. Beautifully executed as Lita now locked a little loopy. Warm smash into a leg sweep. Drop kick to the boob. That looked like it hurt. And now a tag into Tomonko. Slap it away at the head. Tomonko now saying, is this the best she can do? Not even a challenge. Picks up Lita now with ease on that one. Samoan drop. Judo roll there by Lita. Nicely done. But gets spun around. Tomako now whipping her into the corner. Firewoman's carry. That would have been cool, Nate. And now look at that surfboard stretch into the ropes. On to Tomonko, Lita now definitely holding her own against the biggest of the bunch. Tomonko now a little dizzy. Thrown over the top to the outside onto the marble, and now Lita follows. Stanley Tucci now administering that 10 count. Thrown into the pole. Into a DDT spiking her on that marble. Thump away now with the chest. She may be wearing Kevlar. It doesn't protect the boobs too much. There's a spear on the outside. <laughs> DDT by Tamongo. We're at the five count already. Splash onto the head of Lita. They're at seven, drops the jaw. Crucifix! They're at eight. They're at nine. Oh, drops it down. And a double count out. What a shitty finish. <laughs> what a real shitty finish. <laughs> and folks, <laughs> well, fans, we're fucked. 
Um. <laughs> well then, it looks like this one's over. <laughs> that was too fucking funny. Okay, so there's that. Um, <laughs> okay, let's move on. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't a mistake, Nate. They've actually had some pretty good matches. This is just the first fuck up, that's all. Okay. Yeah, moving on. There we go. Blondre the Gorgeous. A woman who's no stranger to the gold will be taking on... The LWO's own Rusevo, or Rudosev, whatever you prefer to call him. For he will be defending his real American championship against the 69th wonder of the world. Let's go ahead and take it down to the ring. A dang a lane. And Rudosev, or Rus Rusevo, yes, look it, look it, my nipples. Do you see what my nipples look like? <laughs> will he be able to hold on to that real American championship, or will it be handed over? The 69th wonder of the world, Andre the Gorgeous. Right, folks, we are live in Milan, Italy. Let's go to Lily. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it's for the WFWF Real American Championship. Purple dress, black gloves, silver belt, all the above. And the lights turn in colorful, folks. Look at the sparkle and shine on that piece of fine known as Andre the Gorgeous. The premier exotico in WFWF. Oh, it has to be her natural color. And now here comes the firework. Where did it go? <laughs> Rusev poop on ya. Rusev caca. Here comes Rusevo. Shake this motherfucking flag! The real American champion.
this motherfucking flag right here. Como están, pinches? Here he is in his first title defense with that red, white, and blue strap. Let's show that graphic. The real American championship on the line, folks. Let's go to Lillian. Introducing first the challenger. She is the premier exotico. The 69th wonder of the world, Andre the Gorgeous! Oh yeah! Now we shoot them all. And her opponent. He is the current reigning and defending WFWF Real American Championship, representing the LWO. This is Rusevo! Now handing that gorgeous patriotic belt. Stanley Tucci holding up that title. How sparkly it is. Andre the Gorgeous versus Rusevo. The sound of the bell, here we go. Get to the midsection. Uppercut, knife edge chops, double chop down, kick to the midsection. Just trying to chop down the big tree known as Andre the Gorgeous that she spills to the outside. And now Rusevo. Picking up the 69th one of the world, but she throws him into the marble, rib first. Comes in, reverse Hurricane Rana! That Frankensteiner inverted! Onto the marble. Those tree trunk like legs kicking to the back. They're at Ford's axe handle. That five. Elbow shot to the nards. Close, Lariato. Chops down the blonde hair. Thank God, thrown back into the ring, this time halfway. Such strength on the arms of Rusevo. He's now picking up for sex. Into a face buster. Rusevo now picking up Andre. Throws her over the top again and spears her down to the marble. Whoop, 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 whoop. Headbutt to the chest of Andre. Now Rusevo. There's Andre now fighting back, shoving <laughs> Rusevo into the marble. Sorry, that looked really funny. Just arm drag over. And picks her up. Standing back body drop. That's a lot of weight coming down. But she rakes the eyes of Rusevo. Pops him up. Oh, Gordita crunch on the marble. Is that seven? But a standing back body drop again on Andre.
You're at eight. Get back in the fucking ring. Oh my god. Nine. Rusevo trying to pull those Rudo tactics. That was at nine. That was a little too close for comfort. German suplex folding Andre. Screaming like a Bulgarian Blanca. It's a backbreaker. On oh, the 69th one in the world. That Rudo tactics. Definitely the teachings of Alberto El Patron. As he picks up, look at the power of Rusevo slamming down Andre. Stops at the face. Now lifting her up. Overhand chop to the back of the head. Picks her up. Elbow smash to the guts. Comes in, monkey flip into the ropes. Nicely done there by Rusevo. Rondo Rusevo. And all the way getting pushed down onto the gullet. Knocks that forearm shot as she picks him up. Back suplex. No! Cross body reversal. Is that Lucha training? <laughs> Says Rusevo. Now picking up Andre. Step up super kick right to her throat. One, two, no, a kick out. Picks her up, but no, standing back body dropped there by Andre the Gorgeous. She rolls through now, picks her up. Uranagi slam. Stops away at the back, and now the Akaledo. Stretching her out. Will she tap? Andre's dead center. No, no give. Trips up the legs. Whoa. Oh, and a deep headbutt. That's the Vat kick. <laughs> and now picking up Rusevo. Props him up. Gordita Crunch. He throws it in all. He drops up. Picking up Rusevo. Chops him back. And now Prostate Plex. That's the first visit. That's the second visit. And now a third checkup. And serious problems. And now Andre the Gorgeous is fired up. Shoots in. Grabs him. Safe word. She's thinking, is this enough? Are you there? One more. Otra vez. Ducks the line. Whoa! A fucking punch! And a forearm smash! Ducks the line. Cross him up. Sex blind buster! Look at that spin! Oh, fuck you! <laughs> Says Andre. And now picking Ru Rusevo up by his ears. But Rusevo now showing the power, slamming her down once more. But she looches the leg out, showing him that she's the premier Exonico for a reason. Club to the back. Rolled through there by Rusev. Back body drop. And a chop down to the ear. And now twisting the neck of Rusevo. Let me the head down now as Andre the Gorgeous picks up Rusevo. Whips him into the corner. Spinning him around. This is usually not a good area to be in, especially with Andre the Gorgeous picking him up now over the shoulder. Raw penetration! Raw penetration on Rusevo! One, two, three, no! Real American Champion! Look at this prostate plex! 
into that raw penetration. Here's your winner and new Real American Champion dedicating it to Nate. Real American Champion Andre the Gorgeous. Congratulations to the Premier Exotico. Your new Real American Champion, Andre the Gorgeous. All right, folks, it is now time for our man event of the evening. A tag team brawl return match. As the Bulls of Britannia are set to take on the world tag team champions, the Dudleyville Militia. All right, good night, MSK. See ya. Here we go, folks. Will the Bulls of Britannia well, Bulls of Britannia 2, be able to take on the Dudleyville Militia. The Dudleyville Militia has definitely been on a sort of a streak lately. The other two members, Bubba Ray and Devon, taking out the Drinking Buddies on RAR. And, of course, the current WFWF Tag Team Champions. Of course, talking about Big, <laughs> Big Dash Dudley and Little Scott Dudley. This is your man event of the evening, folks. Extreme woos apply. Tornado tag. Anybody could pin anybody. Any weapons can be used. And it is for the WFWF World Tag Team Champions. Well, championships, actually. One of these teams will exit this building as your tag team champions of WFWF. Here we go, folks. We are live in Milan, Italy. For your man event of the evening, there's the Bulls of Britannia. Hoping to regain the tag titles that they lost. In a hard-fought battle against the current tag champions, the Dudleyville Militia.
So many dead bodies on it. Ew, look at the slippery floor. As your World Tag Team Champions. The Dudleyville Militia definitely following in the footsteps of their predecessors and trainers. Bubba Ray and Devon, almost a 20-time Tag Team Champion. Probably more. Those belts sure do look lovely on them, folks. And again, they are lovely belts. World Tag Team Wrestling Champions. The pretty belts are on the line, folks. Introducing first the challengers. Zack Saber Ryder Jr. and the British Bulldog, the Bulls of Britannia. And their opponents. They are the current reigning and defending WFWF World Tag Team Champions. Big Dash Dudley, Little Scott Dudley, the Dudleyville Militia. Those are World Tag Team Champions standing proud with those straps of gold, silver, and red leather. Stanley Tucci holding them both up. Bulls of Britannia versus Dudley Militia. Return match, folks. Here we go. European uppercut there by Dash. Down neck breaker there by Zack Sabre Ryder, who's still refusing to take off that jacket. <laughs> Breaking the eyes there by little Scott Dawson. Oh, little Scott Dawson, actually. Picks him up. No, oh, knees out of the head. And that bald surface. Lariato taken down. Scott Dudley. Leg drop there. Fireman's carry there by the British Bulldog. Drop kick to the side of the head. Running laps around him is a bypass there by Bulldog. And now Zack Sabre Ryder up on top. Leg drop. Nice on little Scott D Dudley. Off the ropes. Hip toss by Big Dash. Ooh, and a drop to hold headbutting his partner. Knocking him out cold. Hold down, neck breaker. Moving over, raking the eyes of Bulldog. The back suplex there by Zack Sabre Ryder. Does big dash, Dudley. Gets a Lariato to the throat for his troubles. Zack Sabre Ryder there working the nose cartilage of Scott Dudley. He picks him up. No fighting out of that powerbomb. Zack Sabre Ryder now shoots in. No kick to the dick. DDT. And now, ooh, thrown across those ropes. Hold on now, just, I guess, choking him. As Scott Dudley now takes a bat to the head of Zack Sabre Ryder. Look at the power of Bulldog, power bombing. Big dash and a crucifix out of the marble. And the Bulls of Britannia hoping to retain, or excuse me, regain those tag team championships. Ooh, driving the shoulder of Zack Sabre Ryder onto that marble. Ooh, misses the headshot. That would have looked rather nasty. Picks him up. No, a crossbody. Reverse suplex there by Big Dash. Twisting the neck on the outside of Zack Sabre Ryder. Low impact DDT. No. 
Judo roll, though, by Big Dash. Gets the shot blocked. Forearm smashed to the throat by the British Bulldog. Comes up close to the center of the ring. There is Doss. There's Scott. Takes up the arm. Pile driver in the center of the ring there by British Bulldog. There's little Scott Dudley. Working the neck, and now Bulldog working the neck of Big Dash. And Zach now dropping those bare knees on that marble with a jaw jack to Scott Dudley. With a face buster onto the marble, but Ryder now trying to get up. Thrown into the wall. Head first the second time. As Big Dash now, Kendo sticks the back of the British Bulldog. Kicks the leg out of the leg as little Scott now, side leg sweeps onto the marble. The fans chanting, let's go Ryder. Inverted suplex on the marble there by Big Dash. And the Dudleyville Militia is in control. There's Zack Sabre Ryder there, scraping the boot across the face there of Little Scott. Hits him up. Suplex. No knee to the head as Scott gets his way out. Dash now thrown into the wall. Back on the inside goes Zack Sabre Ryder as Bulldog now about to get T-boned on the marble. Double axe handle to the throat. And Zack Sabre Ryder now going for the Dr. Martin's boot. Oi, oi, oi. Scraping that Dr. Martin's boots across the facial hair of Little Scott. And a Letty out to the back of the head. Giving his partner just enough slack to go to work on Big Dash. And now a steel chair brought into play there by Zack Sabre Ryder. Jabbing the ears. Oh, Big Dash. Not picking him up. Will Scott throws the chair in. Oh, and a backbreaker. Close line in the corner. Oh, Big Dash tried to go for the move. Zach Sabre Ryder now drag and screw onto the leg of Little Scott, but no. And oh, amateur style face buster. On that chair. And now Big Dash measuring up. Goes to that running knee, but no, Zack Sabre Ryder dodges it. There's a dragon suplex there by Little Scott. European uppercut to the back of the head. Knocking Zack Sabre into that. Belly to belly overhead, no, trips out. Little Scott now going to town. With that trip, there's a punch to the head, the ears actually. DDT, and now keep your eye on Big Dash. No, Ryder, DDT, reversal. Blocks that kick, though. Ragged screw. And the Bulldog pushes little Scott off of him. Gonna hold that steel chair. No German suplex. Goes for the cover. One. No, a one count only. Lifting knee to the head of Bulldog. And both the Bulls of Britannia are in trouble. No, leg trip and a drive of the shoulder down onto the mat. That's pressed with the fists of fire. Lifting knee now by Big Dash. Props him up. Fucking arrow. <laughs> Fucking arrow. Form smash to the ear. Picks him up. Power slam. There's a cover now. Hooks the leg. One. Two, no, a kick out at two. The slam into the corner now, Zack Sabre Ryder. One, two, no, a kick out at two. Huge shot there by Little Scott now, ringing the arm. Hooks him in. Hook clothesline, almost a lineato. And now Zack Sabre Ryder gets the dragon screw to the knee. Forearm smash, drop kick to the knee, and a chop block. Running chop, a clothesline to the outside by Zack Sabre Ryder, and look at Dawson. Big Dash now is about to get suicide. Oh, a dive onto the outside by Zack Sabre Ryder. Oi. 
And now Little Scott planting that DDT on Davey Boy. And now look at the legs of that inverted figure four. Zack Sabre Ryder, why is he celebrating? No, he's so close to those ropes. That's it, it's over. And they retain. Fuck shit. Said Zack Sabre Ryder. And right here, this inverted figure four lock. Look at the pain right there. Just pulling down on the foot. Bulldog has no fucking choice. As Zack Sabre Ryder's busy taking the piss in the corner. Here are your winners and still WFWF World Tag Team Champions, the Dudleyville Militia. All right, fans, that's going to do it here for WFWF Smackwood. Join us next time for work in progress. Follow this channel. Follow me at Dino Winwood on Twitter. There's a Patreon link at the bottom if you want to contribute to this crazy shit that I'm always happy to bring to you. Until then, folks, I will see you next time. I love you so much. Those of you who stayed, thank you so much. Those of you who joined earlier, thank you so much. And those of you watching, thank you so very much. I love you guys. This is Dino Winwood saying good night and... OU818.